Okay, so, a few weeks ago, uh, but, or maybe it was just two weeks ago, whatever time it was. A few weeks uh, ago works. Valve announced something pretty interesting that was going to change up a lot of its uh, Steam market, which was paid for mods for for Steam in general, but uh, more particularly it was starting with Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Which is um, one of the most modded games of all time. Yes, yes, it is. It is extremely modded, and some people say like that's that's really just how you play the game. You you get mods, but they uh, but so they they announced that they their marketplace is going to have paid for versions now, and you could you as a amateur modder could make your mod, put it up, get a few bucks, whatever it is, um, and use and then people can pay for your mod and you can get some money from it, right? Um. Uh, that we'll we'll talk about that idea in general um but we should also note that there was a lot of backlash about that and since that time valve has now taken it away Mm. (laughs) people didn't like this idea of paid for mods particularly for the most modded game uh the game that was already the most modded game um and so, yeah, they took it away, but the what they said with it, they're like, well, clearly the, we didn't assess the market properly with this. We'll have to go reevaluate. Um, which means that they, they're leaving it open that they're still planning to introduce this paid-for-mod system, but maybe they're going to wait. Maybe they're going to uh, do it differently. Um, maybe they're going to have better quality control, because that was something that was noticed uh is that as soon as it went up, during the period that it was up, there was a whole lot more mods, but they were kind of just a bunch of small, crappy mods that someone just put up to try and make a buck. Mm. Which, which, yeah. And and do we have any idea what type of price are we talking about? Are we talking about $1, $2, $10? I what I was hearing is that there were some, the, the average you would expect would be like a $5 mod, which is kind of high you might yeah. think for, for that, but for yeah. some mods you might even think that's low, because there's, the, like, there's that mod... Uh, you remember from years back where uh, they made a whole, almost a new continent or a new like country. Yeah, it doubled the game. It doubled yeah. the game in one mod. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing I could see. Um, I don't remember if we if there was a, a range, but I thought that there was a range uh, there of different price points, which would make the most sense because of how vastly different different mods are. Um, but yeah, there, there's multiple issues here. Obviously, there was backlash by the community. The community did not like this. Um, well, nobody wants to pay for anything, but yeah. Yeah, well, except for the idea was to use not that you would have to pay for every mod, because there are still mods out there that you can get for free, but part of the idea is this would ho- hopefully encourage more professional modders, maybe uh, give back to those guys that did do mods and put a lot of time into it so that they can... Uh, you know, recuperate their, their their timely costs and be rewarded for it, and you you may find eventually uh, good modders develop enough money that they can you know dedicate time to making better mods, uh, uh, quit their day job or get a part time job, whatever it is, and if this is what they want to do, you know, there, there's that kind of factor um, that that's hoped for that this would would help with, but. And, and obviously, I, I'm guessing Steam was taking some kind of cut of it so that they can... Uh, Which, yeah, it wouldn't make sense. But I kind of like the idea of paying people. You're right. It helps, rewards them for the work they're doing. And not everybody has to put up a mod that you have to pay for. If you want to make it totally free, you can put it up for totally free. But, you know, I mean, it, it's not a bad idea to say, hey, you put a lot of work into this. Here, let's kick a little bit back so you can be rewarded for it. Now, when you say some people might have been putting up a whole bunch of mods and they were like garbage just to put them up to see if they could make money, you're right. Quality control needs to be uh, definitely assessed in that issue. Um, But I I see overall it's not going to take away from the modding community because a lot of them still would put up their mods for free, I'm assuming. It just seems like it would add to it because then you have some people, like you said, that instead of you know, having to go to a nine to five grind. Hey, they do really good at modding games, uh, so they can go in there. Now, I think that comes into the issue of if you're going to make them professional, then do the game studios also get a cut of that because they are adding on to the works of said game. Yeah, I kind of was wondering about that whether they had any kind of legal issues, but it seemed like it was, it was 
fine. I didn't hear about anything related to that, but I think they only, again, they only tried it with uh, Bethesda's um, Elder Scrolls V, which, I mean, Bethesda's pretty loose. They love their guys, modern so. community. Bethesda loves their modern community. Um, I believe, I I believe uh, somebody modded something for Oblivion, which then became the forging system in Skyrim, which is one of, one of the coolest yeah. parts of Skyrim. So, yeah, they love their modern community. Yeah. Um, the other thing, though, I would see this being a problem for the modern community is it would change the culture a, a lot because, yes, you still have guys doing for free, but once you start giving that option and it becomes more norm, or paid for ones it's not just that you're going to get the high class mods now charging because now the guys can dedicate more time to it or can buy a better pc to do the mods on or whatever it is that they need to do you're going to start seeing just a, a percentage being taken away from free mods and going to pay for mods which on the one hand yeah i mean some sometimes they just deserve it anyway even though they get it for free but on the other hand you are changing the whole dynamic. Something that was previously always expected to be a free thing that people were just giving away is now no longer that way. Yeah. Which, again, I don't, I don't see too much of a problem as long as, number one, quality control is in place. Uh, number two, there is some sort of, you know, I mean, they can't say, okay, I'm charging $60 for this mod. And if you do, I guess nobody's going to buy it. So I, the marketplace will probably decide what price point would work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, if, if someone's like, okay, here, give me a fifty cents per download for the the mod where it makes your uh, Dragonborn guy Goku, and every Fusro Da you do is a Kamehameha wave, <laughs> you know, like I wouldn't necessarily, I personally wouldn't pay for that, but you know, there's probably plenty of people out there who would. I'd love to get it for free, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. The thing I'm kind of it, you, you have to look at is like the DLC. This is essentially trying to go more the DLC route, right? Um, and you remember early on when DLC started becoming a big deal back in the, the last generation of uh, consoles, you know, when the 360 started putting out uh, DLC because um, a developer had made a bunch of extra maps for, I think it was like it was like Gears of War or something like, like that, that made a bunch of extra maps. And they were like, hey, let's give this uh, to our people for free as an update because it did so well. And Microsoft's like, no, 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 no. We don't give things away for free. <laughs> yeah. And eventually they kind of did, but they initially you would have to pay for, for DLC. And that kind of started this widespread idea of, DLC here. Here's map packs. Here's whatever, and that's it. That, that, that's mods, but yeah. from the, from the de developer. original developers. Yeah, and, and I don't mind DLC uh, to a certain extent. I don't appreciate DLC that is on disc already, and then you have to pay to unlock it. If I already paid sixty dollars for the game and you've already put it on my disc, I'm I should get that for free. Um, but if you create something extra to the game. Uh, you look at like the Grand Theft Autos. Grand Theft Auto 4 was a great example. They give you two expansions to the game, which came out as DLC. I do remember the days of like Warcraft 2. I got the expansion pass to Warcraft 2. Uh, that was a huge, it was a totally another game. Same with the StarCraft. I don't mind going for an expansion to a game, but I, I don't really appreciate getting something that should have been included in the game. Like, oh, hey, we, we've got these extra levels that fit in the middle of your story already, but you could only unlock it if you paid 10 bucks. So it, 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 DLC has always been on the fence with me. I don't mind it a lot of times, like, like the Destiny DLC. It was kind of weak, this last one, but the new one should be pretty good. It was something that you had to download. It was not on disc, if I'm correct. I could be off on that, but as long as it's not something that was already done, it was already put in there, it fits into the story, it kind of completes the gaming experience that you've already had, you know, if it's an add-on to it, cool. If it is almost necessary DLC, it upsets me. But I think that's one of the concerns, though, is that that, though, changed business models, even in, in the industry, because before... you. Know, for PC games anyway, you might get some extra stuff from, from the developer and they'll just give it to you, right? You already bought the game. Maybe they'll save up a bunch of stuff for an expansion pack, but that's like almost a new game. Um, but now, yeah, like, expansion is almost games, no game. Yeah. But games are now made 
with DLC in mind, like with day yeah. one DLCs, with the yeah. idea of how are we going to pack in DLC into this later? It, it's it's changed everything. And some people say for for the better because now you're getting more content for games you actually like. Um, some people say for the worse because now you're you're trying. Some companies are trying to like just churn money out of you. Yeah, and I think there's plenty of examples of both. Yeah. You know, better and worse. One of the examples of better is going to be, we talked about it the other week, um, the Star Wars Battlefront. You are going to get a free DLC that it acts as a prequel to Star Wars 7. That is an awesome thing. <laughs> that is amazing. But that's because it's free. Would I pay for it? More than likely, yes. Yeah. But they're giving them giving to me free makes me a lot happier. Now, one of the other concerns, though, that is going to be different than DLC, because DLC is made by the uh, original developer, and so there is hopefully some quality control, And but there's a, a unified group behind it. One of the concerns people were mentioning is a lot of mods don't... One, they don't have access to the full code necessarily, so things don't always interact very well. Um, so some mods will, will break a game, for instance. That's a problem. Mm. But also yeah, just game, certain That's mods sure. won't work with each other very well. Some mm -hmm. will require another mod. Some will just conflict with each other because it's not a unified thing. It's like you can just say, okay, I want this set of mods from this guy and this set of mods from this guy who's exploiting different things, right? And maybe they stack. Maybe they don't. Um, and now you've paid for both these mods that you may not be able to use mm -hmm. in the event that you... At least not at the same them. time, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's lots of questions out there, but I do think it's an interesting idea. I don't think they should totally abandon it, but you're right. They need to put more controls in place. But let us know what you think. Do you think this is a good idea for Steam to do? Should they re-roll uh, that out, or should they keep it in the closet? So hit us up. Let us know what you think. Comments down below, of course, at What's My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook, always good ways of getting a hold of us.